500 athletes ranging from two year olds to 60 year olds took part in the Special Olympics this afternoon at Cabot High School. One of those athletes continues to stay focused on winning a medal no matter what curveball is thrown in his direction. From the outside looking in, yeah. Lawrence Brown looks like a normal 16 year old athlete. It's been my favorite thing since I was little. But his journey to the Special Olympics has been filled with hurdles. He had been actually found um, by the police in an abandoned crack house. My biological mom, she was uh, on drugs and she couldn't take care of me. He had a diaper bag. All that was in the bag was a tourniquet that his birth mother had been using to take uh, drugs. In addition, there was a curdled bottle of milk. Deborah and her husband Robert had been foster parents for years, but were in the process of making an international adoption. The social worker placed that precious baby in my arms and said, "Well, Deborah, do you think we can raise two babies?" She just was there for me, and she just like helped me get through a lot of stuff. More obstacles continued to get in Lawrence's way. We didn't know whether he would be able to talk, walk. Um, he was addicted to crack. And like many of his Special Olympic competitors, Lawrence is autistic. Therapists would come to his house three to four times a week. Because of those advances in special education, you know, my son is able to participate in an event like this. He's speaking clearly, doing well in his classes, and throwing the shot put like a champ. He's just a walking miracle. Deborah and Robert have a big family, including four adopted kids and two biological children. Um, this is extra special for us because it was an event that we participated in as a family. Robert always coached Lawrence. And he would be on the side like watching me and cheering me. Two years ago, Robert passed away after battling stage four colon cancer. He's up there giving cheers from heaven right now. We are believers and we know that we're going to see him again and he's rooting and hollering and, and right there patting on Lawrence's back as he participates. Yeah, like a, <laughs> a very tough kid right there. Congrats to him.